Let's get one thing straight. I am not using my child to get ahead in business. Of course you are, but you're doing the right thing because you're thinking of her future. I would do the same thing. We get along pretty well, Alan. We want the same thing, a strong Spalding for generations to come. So what's it gonna be? You can be very persuasive. I love that killer instinct of yours. It's a deal. But you will work directly under me as the president. You won't regret this. If I do, so will you. Welcome back. Thank you. Well, have your attorney contact the legal department. We'll hash out the details. Of course. Excuse me just a moment, okay? Hello? You on your way? Almost. Good, because I got big news. I have some news of my own. I'll see you soon. Little Bill? It's my husband, Alan. Oh. Meeting him for dinner. Does he know where you are right now? No, he doesn't. Wonder how he'll react when he finds out that you've abandoned your little company to come work for me. I'm just gonna tell him that I'm doing what I have to do for my daughter. Remember one thing, Olivia. Bill is a Lewis, and I don't want any Lewis involved in anything Spalding. I'm a professional, Alan. Business is business. This is nice. Are you sure you don't want the top up now? Not on your life. <laughs> well, that's my girl. Now, where are we going? Hmm? How about Laurel Falls? That would be fun and private. Well, unless we get caught, of course. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> yeah, but these days we probably end up in the paper. Even better. <laughs> you know, I, I think you might be enjoying this just a little bit. Oh, come on, why not? We could all use a little spice in our lives. Well, that's very true, and Jonathan certainly has brought plenty into ours. He bought me this car. <sighs> You don't mind that he bought me a car, do no, you? You know what? Let's not even go there, okay? We're, we're supposed to be having a good time, right? Well, yeah, I know. Well, then I... let's fire this baby up, huh? Nice. <laughs> Hello. Service with a smile. Thank you. So, I'm here. What do you want? <clears throat> yes, you are here, but I'm not sure of your mood. Oh, are you worried about me? Because that's so sweet. Well, I just want you to stay on top of your game. What game is that? Are you smoking crack again? Yeah. The one where um, you blow Cassie out of the water? Are you in love with my Aunt Cassie or something? She's all you ever talk about. I am in love with Edmund, and he would be mine right now if you knew how to finish what you started. You're talking like we're partners? We're not. Oh, I know that. I know that, but we certainly have common interests. Sure. I set up everything for you the other day when I sent the flowers to Cassie. I promised Reaver I'm not going to talk about the whole Cassie thing. So? So I keep my promises. You know, I think I misjudged you. I didn't realize you were so noble. Or maybe it's just cowardice. No, don't you worry, that pretty little face, dynamite. Aunt Cassie and Uncle Eddie are gonna get what's coming to them. Well, all right. Cassie, you snatched that away from me so quickly, it makes me think you have a secret admirer. Oh, look, I, I can understand. Uh, I can explain. Cassie, you don't need everything. to explain anything. You don't. I know who they're from. No, you don't. Yes, Cassie, I do. It's obvious. They're from Jeffrey O'Neill. He can't stand the fact that you married me. Jeffrey? Yes. Oh, Cassie, yes. It's, it's ill. You don't need to protect him, really. I'm not going to go insane with you. No, yes, I don't want All you right. to be upset. But really, they're not. I see. Fine. Look here. Let me prove it to you.
So what exactly are you waiting for? You slept with Cassie the night before her wedding and Edmund doesn't know. Yeah, I got some good stuff on Cassie, but I think it's all about the timing. I don't want to blow it. Plus, I think you know something that you're not telling me. So why don't you tell me what you know, and I'll tell you what I know. I'm fresh out of secrets, Johnny. Who's playing the games now? If you want your good leg to stay healthy, I suggest you let go of me right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I invading your personal space? If you don't want to bust Cassie and Edmund, it's fine with me. Okay. I have something. Something that I've been saving for the right time. Well, I knew it. But my hands don't get dirty. Okay? But I'm gonna give you a clue. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Fire? Joke's on me. Tammy. Wishing us well on the Baby Winslow project. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm... No. Cassie, no, I'm the one who jumped to conclusions about Jeffrey O'Neill. I'm the one who's sorry. For what? Because I'm just miserably presumptuous. I just, I don't know. I, I have this feeling that the past is just going to catch up and destroy me or something. Yeah, I know the feeling. No, no, you're just saying that to make me feel better. No, no, I'm not. Cassie. No, you, Edmund, Cassie, please, please listen just, to me. Please, let me finish. Let me finish. I want, I want to promise one another, if you can, I want to promise each other that we won't jump to conclusions about each other. That we'll just, we won't worry about the little things like flowers and needles. Just please, what do you say? I say you're right. No more fear. Listen, I'm sorry that I kept you waiting so long. Oh, it's all right, it's all right. My Uncle Josh was here. Filling my head with crazy ideas. Yeah, what kind of crazy ideas? Well, they want me back at Lewis. Really? Yeah. Well, they don't give up. Hmm? Did you tell them no? Of course I did. Well, good. Because why settle for Lewis when you can have the big enchilada? Spalding. Yes, yeah. what else? Come on. I don't want Spalding. We wanted to take him down. We did it. Mission accomplished. Besides, Alan's going to fight to the death before he hand his company over to us. Us? Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? I, I was at Spalding earlier. Fighting Alan to the death? Actually, it was uh, just a lot easier than I anticipated. Alan was easy, huh? Well, I made him an offer he couldn't refuse, Bill. I'm in! I'm in! Can you believe it? I am love and I am the show. I think you should think about going next, darling. No, 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 no. I made enough of a fool out of myself to last a lifetime. Uh, well, at least you have a good voice. <laughs> well, compared to him, I do, but no, I'm still going to pass. Come on, there must be some way I can talk you. Oh, no. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> This is Josh Lewis. He's been what? <laughs> okay. No, you know what? I'll, I'll meet you there in just a few minutes. Thank you. Bye bye. Who is that? Uh, long story. The <laughs> long story short. You have to Sorry. go. Sorry. Yes, I apologize, but keep my seat warm for me. I'll be back as quick as I can. You better believe okay. it. It was a fluke, 
you know, it was, a, it was a fluke. I just, I saw an opening and I went for it. I didn't know the hell I'm gonna actually say yes. Olivia, he's setting you up. Okay, maybe, but, and he's also expecting me to sell you out, but he doesn't know how tight we are. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look, we can work together behind the scenes, all right? We, we can share decision-making. Alan will never know. We don't need it. We don't need support. I need it. I need it. I need it. I, and not just for me, but for Emma. What are you talking about? We can take care of Emma without Spalding Enterprises. I know we probably could. Pro I, look, I want her to have the best, all right? I want her to have her birthright. She deserves that. I can give her that. So you really want this, don't you? Yeah. Hmm. Just as much as I want you and Emma by my side. Ay, ay, ay. No wonder Alan can say no to you. I will make it happen. I promise. I just think of all the amazing things we can do on that boardroom table. Always about sex with you, isn't it? You know, I'm not some piece of meat. Pity. Being scared is awful. And it's stupid. And I'm not gonna do it anymore. Glad to hear it. It's no way to live, and it's no way to start a family. No, it's not. So does that mean you're ready for the needle? <laughs> Make me your human pincushion. Okay. <sighs> Let's go. Oh. Sorry to have to bother you, Mr. Lewis, but when I couldn't get a hold of your wife, no, I... No, no, uh, no, really, I, I appreciate the phone call. I think these are your wife's. Yeah, y you're right. These belong to uh, my wife, Reva. I... Where did you find these? Jack's music shop, down on Hicks Street. She must have left them behind. She, but what, she was shopping there? Uh, not exactly. My partner and I responded to an alarm there last night. We uh, thought there was a break-in, but then your wife explained. She explained? Yeah, about how she and your son were doing research for her show. She and her son. Yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate the phone call. I do. No problem. All right. Have a good evening. This is our shame. <laughs> A chicken or sensible? Okay. Okay. Hey, baby. Okay, baby. Okay, pick one. All right. Oh, huh? the most difficult there song. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> on Guiding Light. Something bothering you? Yeah, actually, Danny, look, I know what you're trying to pull with Michelle. It's gonna end right now. I want you to call Jeffrey O'Neill. I want you to call him and I want you to tell him that I'm... 
I'm ready to plead guilty and take the deal. This has been Guiding Light. Tomorrow, a deadly virus has been unleashed. We're talking about a global epidemic. Somebody did this. Now, the FBI's only hope for finding the source is a math genius. Tracking an infectious disease is a complicated problem. How do you forgive yourself if you're wrong? We can't be wrong. Don't miss the new hit drama Numbers, CBS Tomorrow. Wednesday, February 16th, is the Valentine's Magic gone for Doug and Carrie? When we first met, we had to be at our best. Now it's like, I'm fat, you're mean, who cares? A new King of Queens. Then join the party when Yes Dear returns with new episodes on a new night. The Yes Dear season premiere after the King of Queens, Wednesday, February 16th. It's almost as if you can see the future unfolding before you. It's all opening up. Your steps aren't planned, but somehow every one of them makes perfect sense. So you keep moving, just action and reaction, running towards daylight. The playoffs are where moments are made. What's next?